Give account. Some thought. Step 1. Open control panel via the search bar. Step 2. Click User Accounts, then User Accounts once more. Step 3. Check whether or not your account has an administrator text under your email on the right side. If you do not see the administrator, you are using a standard or a guest account. Try switching to an admin account. If the issue disappears when you use an admin account, that means there is something wrong with the original account. In that case, you should create a new account. Step 1. Open, add, edit, or remove other users using the search bar. Step 2. Click Add Someone Else to This PC. Step 3. Follow the steps in this window to add a new account. Step 4. Click the new account. Change account type. Step 5. Click Administrator. OK. System File Checker and Deployment Image Servicing and Management. System Files Checker, or SFC, is a built-in Windows utility that scans the system for corruption and takes care of it. Here's how to use it. Step 1. Run Command Prompt as an Administrator. Step 2. Type SFC Scano and hit Enter. Wait until the process completes and see how things turn out. If the issue persists, give Deployment Image Servicing and Management, or DISM, a go as well. Step 1. Run Command Prompt as an Administrator. Step 2. Type DISM.exe, Online, Cleanup Image, Scan Health, and hit Enter. Step 3. Type dism.exe, online, cleanup image, restore health, and hit enter. Step 4. Close command prompt, then restart your computer. Scan computer. Malware, worms viruses, are the last things you want on your computer. They can cause a great many problems and program won't run unless administrator Windows 10 is a prime example. Therefore, it is a good idea to run a full system scan using your antivirus program. If nothing is found, I recommend giving Microsoft Safety Scanner a try. The Microsoft Safety Scanner is a free official security tool with the ability to perform various specific system scans for malicious programs. It does not conflict with your antivirus software in any way. Follow the instructions on the site and see if your current problem is indeed caused by malware. Make use of Registry Editor. Step 1. Type Regedit DemSC into the search bar and hit Enter. Step 2. In Registry Editor, go to HKI Current User Software G Classes key. If you see an exe key here, Remove it. Step 3. Go to HKI Current User Software Microsoft Little Windows Our Current Version Explorer Ju File Extesjeet XE. Step 4. Click the exe key and check the values on the right. It should be value not set. Apply changes if necessary. Step 5. In the same directory, click 
open with list. The value should also be value not set. Apply changes if necessary. Step six, go back to exit key, but now click open with pro gids. There should be one default value not set and one exa file value with reg none type. Perform a clean boot. Step one, type misconfig into the search bar and hit enter. Step two, in system configuration, go to services tab. Step three, check the hide all Microsoft services box at the bottom left. Step four, click disable all. Step five, now open task manager, go to startup tab and disable all services. Step 6. Reboot your PC and check.